Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Muhammad Daniel Zikri bin Abdul Jami. My student ID is 2019-401-178. So for today, I would like to talk about an experiment which is titled The Effects of Heat Treatment on the Microstructure of Steel. So we go on to the objective. For the first objective, it is to um, study on preparing metal metallographic samples uh, for microstructures observation. Uh, the second objective it is to study the effects of heat treatment on the microstructure of steel. And for the last objective, uh, we have to discover on uh, microstructures of um, uh, ferrite, pyrolite, cementite, austenite, and martensite under microscopic view. So next, we'll be moving on to the theory part. In this part, we have three types of um, heat treatment process that I'll be explaining um, the purposes uh, for each of the process. So the first one is annealing. The purpose is to reduce hardness and brittleness. The next one is to alter the microstructures so that be desirable mechanical properties is achievable. And the next one is to soften metals for improved machinability and formability. So for the second one is normalizing. In this, um, the purpose is to high to give a higher strength and hardness material. Um, it is also to improve machinability, and it is to refine grain by decreasing grain size and more uniform distribution. So for quenching, um, quenching um, is a rapid way of bringing metal back to room temperature, and it also to prevent the cooling process from dramatically changing the metal's microstructure. So next, we'll be moving on to the demonstration part. Before um, we start, um, I would like to remind you guys about the safety procedures by wearing safety goggles and also um, a pair of gloves. This is to ensure that we are being well protected while carrying out this experiment. So um, the purpose, uh, uh, so basically after this tool has gone through um, cutting and molding process, it will be going through uh, an important process which is called grinding. So this purpose of grinding is to remove rough scale and imperfections on the surface, um, followed by a fine grinding until it, is, it, will be ref it will reflect light. So the first step. Turn on the water valve and um, turn on the water valve and let it flow um, onto the sandpaper equally. And then you have to, uh, before you start grinding, you should make sure that the um, sectioning is perpendicular with the uh, position of grinding process. And the third step, um, grind your sample one direction in a time um, while flowing the water continuously. And the fourth step, you should start using um, 240 grit of sandpapers. Uh, followed by 360 and then um, 600 and then 800 and finally 1200 of uh, grit of sandpapers um, for finishing and then you have to make sure that your grinding is, um, is smooth um, without, any, without having any scratches on it and finally you should turn off the water valve once you are, f you are done with your grinding process that's all and finally we'll be moving on to uh, results and discussion so for the first question is what is the purpose of etching process in the preparation of metallographic sample and how it is done? So the purpose is to reveal microstructural details that would otherwise um, not be evident as um, on the as polished sample. So uh, the process includes uh, the first one, sample will be cleaned with alcohol and dried. Then it will be um, immersed in the etching for a few seconds. And then it will be placed under a steam of water to remove all traces of acid. And the next one, it will be washed again with alcohol to prevent watermarks. And lastly, it will be ready to be viewed under microscope. Um, for the second um, discussion, describe the heat treatment procedures for steel, um, annealing, normalizing, quenching, and tempering, and the intended uh, final microstructures. So the first one, annealing. Uh, heat treatment in which the mountain site is held at an elevated temperature for a period of time and then cooled slowly. Um, so the cost period is the microstructural produced. Um, next one, normalizing. Um, by heating at about 55 degrees to 88 degrees uh, above the upper critical temperature and accompanied by air cooling, an annealing, that, an annealing heat treatment process is performed and the fine period is the microstructural produced. Next one, quenching. The sample heating phase um, to the austenite range is then cooled is then quickly cooled. Um, during the process, various quenching media, which are water, oil, air, and brine, can be used. 
um, each providing different outcomes on the structure and, and mechanical properties. So the microstructure produced is mutton side, of course. And the last and lastly, tempering. A method to re it is a method to reheat a mutton sitting steel to make it harder and more ductile at a temperature below the eutectoid eutect temperature. Um, tempered mutton side is the microstructure produced. So uh, last discussion we'll have is briefly describe the characteristic of mutton side microstructure. So mutton side has a lower density than austenite meaning that a relative adjustment in volume results in the martensitic trans transformation. The needle-like uh, martensite microstructure contributes to the material's brittle behavior. So much martensite leaves brittle steel, too little of it leaves the soft steel.